Section 17 of 1001 Questions and Answers on English Grammar. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Theoden Humphrey. 1001 Questions and Answers on English Grammar by Benjamin Hathaway. Pronouns. Number one. Give the general rule for the agreement of pronouns. Pronouns must agree with their antecedents in person, number, and gender, as men may live fools, but fools they cannot die. 2. Why do they not agree also in case? Because case is the relation of the pronoun to other words, and the pronoun usually does not have the same relation as its antecedent. 3. Give two cases in which the rule for agreement does not apply. 1. Wherein your lordship, who shines, etc. 2. It is I. 4. When the antecedent represents an object personified, what is the person, number, and gender of the pronoun? It agrees with it in its figurative and not in its literal sense as spring with her many charms has come. 5. When the antecedent is used in a metaphoric sense, what of the agreement of the pronoun? The pronoun agrees with its literal instead of its figurative sense, as the monarch of the mountains lifts his hoary head. 6. How does the pronoun agree when its antecedent is a phrase or sentence? It agrees with it in the third singular neuter. 7. How does it affect the pronoun when its antecedent is preceded by many a? When a singular noun is used with the adjective many a, the pronoun representing it may be either singular or plural, as many a day have we been together, they were the happiest of my life. Full many a flower is born to blush unseen and waste its sweetness on the desert air. 8. What is the antecedent of the pronoun it in the following? How pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It reigns. In the first, it is used to represent the phrase for brethren to dwell, etc., and is a necessary expletive. In the second, it has no definite antecedent. 9. What is the subject of the first sentence? The phrase, for brethren to dwell, etc. 10. How are we to know when it is an expletive? When some other part of the sentence really performs the function of the it, and this word is used only to give a smoothness or better form to the sentence than could be secured without it. 11. What pronouns have distinct forms of gender? The personal pronouns of the third person, as he, masculine, she, feminine, it, neuter. 12. What of the genders of personal pronouns in the first and second persons? When the antecedents are expressed, there is, of course, no doubt. When not expressed, we must attribute masculine or feminine gender to them, or presume that they represent both sexes. 13. Where is the pronoun generally placed? It follows the noun or pronoun which it represents, as a bad workman quarrels with his tools. 14. Name the exceptions. There are four. One, in interrogatives, as whom have you invited as guests? Two, in the case of the introductory it, as it was Diogenes who lived in a tub. Three, when its antecedent is in apposition with it, as I, Alexander, am emperor of Russia. Four, when its antecedent is in the predicate with it, as they are men whose word is as good as their bond. 15. Was the pronoun which ever applied to persons? It was formerly, 
as Our Father which art in heaven, etc. 16. Where should the relative pronoun always be placed? As near its antecedent as possible. Otherwise, obscurity or nonsense will be the result, as we whom you have befriended will befriend them. The correct idea to be conveyed is, we will befriend them whom you have befriended. The child has a ravenous appetite, which we have just seen. This should read, the child which we have just seen has a ravenous appetite. 17. What are the use of different pronouns for the same antecedent? Avoid the use of different pronouns for the same antecedent in the same sentence, as this is the man that had a fortune and who that went to Europe. 18. What is peculiar of the pronouns who, which, what, and that? They and their compounds always precede the verb, even when in the objective case, as whom do you wish, whomsoever you desire to invite. 19. Give ten sentences in false syntax under rule for pronouns. 1. One cannot be too careful of their, his, reputation. 2. The mind of man should not be left without something in which to employ his, its, energies. 3. Each of the senses should be kept within their, its, proper bounds. 4. No parent lives that does not love his or her children, expunge or her. 5. Our Father which, who, art in heaven. 6. I heard the news but could not believe them, it. 7. The friend who has gone to the city that has been visiting us, the friend that has been visiting us has gone to the city. 8. Vanity and pride will soon show itself, themselves. 9. He had one acquaintance which, who, poisoned his principles. 10. Taste these, this, molasses. I think you will like them, it. 20. What is the rule for a pronoun having two or more antecedents in the singular connected by and? A pronoun having two or more singular antecedents connected by and must agree with them in the plural number, as Anna and Mary will favor us with their company. 21. What is an exception to this rule? When the antecedents are only different names for the same person or thing, they do not require a plural pronoun, as that eminent lawyer and statesman shot himself accidentally. 22. How is a second antecedent in the preceding and all similar sentences parsed? Statesman is in apposition with lawyer. 23. Name another exception to the above rule. When one or more of the antecedents is preceded by each, such, every, no, or not, they do not require a plural pronoun, as every plant and tree produces after its kind. 24. What is a third exception to the rule? When the antecedents are emphatically distinguished, they do not require a plural pronoun, as the good man and the sinner too shall have his reward. Purity and purity only is worth seeking for its own sake. 25. Why are these exceptions made to the general rule? Unity is signified in each case. 26. What is a fourth exception? When the antecedents taken together denote a single thing, the pronoun should be singular, as bread and milk is wholesome, 
and children generally like it. 27. When the antecedents have different persons, which does the pronoun agree with? The pronoun agrees with the second in preference to the third and with the first in preference to either the second or third person, as you and Sarah may recite your lessons. You and I have done our work. He and we know our plans. 28. When a pronoun has two or more singular antecedents connected by or or nor, how does it agree with them? It must agree with them in the singular number, as George or Henry will give us his assistance. Neither faith, hope, nor charity makes its home in his heart. 29. Are there any exceptions to this rule? There are properly no exceptions to it. 30. What if the antecedents connected by or or nor are plural? The pronoun then must be plural, as neither men nor women want to forgo their natural rights. 31. If one of the antecedents is plural and the other singular, what should be the number of the pronoun? The plural antecedent should be placed last, and the pronoun must agree with it in the plural number, as neither the teacher nor the pupils knew exactly when their last day of school would be. 32. What person and gender should the pronoun be to represent antecedents of different genders? Use a plural pronoun that will represent both genders, or use different pronouns, as he or she should make known their pretensions. No boy or girl should disobey his or her teacher. 33. How many rules should be given in parsing pronouns? Two, one for the agreement and the other for the case. 34. What is the program for parsing pronouns? 1. Name the part of speech. 2. Name its class and subclass. 3. Give its antecedent. 4. Give its agreement. 5. Name the rule. 6. Give its case and construction. 7. Name or recite the rule. 35. Parse a personal pronoun in the nominative case. We have deceived him to our sorrow. We is a pronoun, personal, and agrees with its antecedent persons, one of whom is the speaker, in the first plural common. Rule, nominative, subject of have deceived. Rule. 36. Parse a personal pronoun in the possessive case. Sin deceives its votaries. Its is a pronoun, personal, and agrees with its antecedent, sin, in third, singular, neuter. Rule. Possessive and limits votaries. Rule. 37. Parse a personal pronoun limiting a noun understood. His hopes are on earth, hers are in heaven. Hers is a pronoun, personal, and agrees with its antecedent, the name of the person spoken of, in third singular feminine. Rule. Possessive and limits hopes understood. Rule. 38. Parse a personal pronoun used in the possessive by analogy for the objective. That husband of mine. That nose of yours, etc. Mine is a pronoun, personal, and agrees with its antecedent, the name of the person speaking, in first singular feminine. Possessive used for the objective, me, and is the object of the preposition of. Rule. An object of a preposition must be in the objective case. Yours, in the second sentence, is used for the objective, you. 39. How are the italicized words in the following sentence parsed? That is my own book. My is in the possessive case, limiting book, and own is an adjective, qualifying book. 40. 
parse a personal pronoun subject of an infinitive expressed. We wish him to become a scholar. Him is a pronoun, personal, and agrees with its antecedent, the name of the person spoken of, in third, singular, masculine. Rule. Objective, subject of, to become. Rule. 41. Parse a personal pronoun subject of an infinitive understood. The soldiers made him general. Him is a pronoun, etc. Objective case, subject of to be, understood. 42. Parse a pronoun in the objective by analogy for the nominative. Me thinks. Me is a pronoun, etc. Objective form used for the nominative I, subject of thinks. 43. What is meant by analogy? A substitution for one form of words for another, as ah me. Me is substituted for the nominative form I, and is in the absolute case by exclamation. 44. Parse the relative as. Help such as need help. As is a pronoun, relative, and agrees with its antecedent persons, understood. In third, plural, common. Nominative, subject of need. Rule. 45. Can what be parsed as a simple relative? What, as a relative, is always double. 46. How is the double relative what parsed? Its equivalent words are given, and then each is parsed separately. 47. Why is it called double relative? Because of its double signification, being equivalent to an antecedent and a relative, or an adjective and a relative, as what cannot be cured must be endured. Equivalent to that which cannot be cured must be endured. 48. Parse a double relative. I will shun what is evil. That is, I will shun the thing which is evil. What is a pronoun, relative, double, and is equivalent to the thing which. Thing, the antecedent part, is a noun, common, third, singular, neuter, objective, object of, will shun. Which, the relative part, is a pronoun, relative, and agrees with its antecedent thing, in the third, singular, neuter. Nominative, subject of, is. 49. Parse the first double relative in the following sentence. He who buys what he does not need will often need what he cannot buy. What is a pronoun, relative, double, and is equivalent to that which. That, the adjective part, is an adjective. Definitive, pronominal, demonstrative, and limits thing, understood. Which, the relative part, is a pronoun, relative, and agrees with its antecedent thing, understood. In third, singular, neuter. Rule. Objective, object of, does need. Rule. 50. Parse a compound relative. Whatever purifies the heart fortifies it. Whatever is a pronoun, relative, double, compound, and is equivalent to the thing which. Thing, the antecedent part, is a noun, common, third, singular, neuter, nominative, subject of fortifies. Rule. Which, the relative part of whatever, is a pronoun, relative, and agrees with its antecedent thing, in third, singular, neuter. Rule. Nominative, subject of, purifies. Rule. 51. Is what the only pronoun that has a double use? Who and which, when compounded, have also a twofold meaning and relation? 52. Parse a compound relative. Whosoever looks for a friend without imperfections will never find what he seeks. 
whosoever is a pronoun, relative, compound, and is equivalent to the person who. Person, the antecedent part, is a noun, common, third, singular, nominative, subject of will find. Rule. Who, the relative, is a pronoun, relative, and agrees with its antecedent person, in third, singular, common. Rule. Nominative, subject of looks. Rule. 53. Parse the interrogative who in a direct question. Who doubts that the planets are inhabited? Who is a pronoun, interrogative, and agrees with its antecedent, the answer to the question, in person, number, and gender, unknown. Rule. Nominative, subject of doubts. Rule. 54. Parse the interrogative who in an indirect question. I know who was elected governor of the state. Who is a pronoun, interrogative, and agrees with its antecedent, the answer to the question in person, number, and gender, unknown. However, the number and gender in this instance might well be assumed to be singular and masculine. Rule. Nominative, subject of was elected. 55. Parse the interrogative what in a direct question. What is your carnival to him? What is a pronoun, interrogative, and agrees with its antecedent, the answer to the question, in person, number, and gender, unknown? Rule. Nominative in the predicate after is, referring to the same thing as its subject, carnival. Rule. 56. Parse the interrogative what in an indirect question. We all learn, sooner or later, what the world is. What is a pronoun, interrogative, etc. Nominative in the predicate after is, referring to the same thing as its subject, world. 57. In parsing, what gender do we give the pronoun when one of its antecedents is masculine and the other feminine? There is good authority for giving the pronoun the masculine gender. 58. Parse a pronoun whose antecedents represent both genders. Arthur and Susan, your lips are free from guile. Your is a pronoun, personal, and agrees with its antecedents, Arthur and Susan, in second, plural, masculine. Possessive and limits lips. Rule. 59. Parse a pronoun having singular antecedents connected by or or nor. Neither wealth nor talent will save its possessor. Its is a pronoun, personal, and agrees with its antecedents, wealth and talent, in third, singular, neuter. Rule. Possessive and limits possessor. Rule. 60. Parse the pronoun it, whose antecedent must be assumed. It thunders. It is a pronoun, personal, indefinite, antecedent, third person, singular, neuter. Nominative, subject of thunders, rule. 61. Parse the introductory it. It is war and love that are strange compeers. It is a pronoun, personal, and represents, but does not agree with, its antecedents, war and love. Exception under the rule for the agreement for pronouns. Third, singular, neuter, nominative, subject of is. Rule. 62. Parse the expletive it. It is in vain, sir, to extenuate the matter. It is a pronoun, personal, and agrees with its antecedent, the phrase, to extenuate the matter, in third, singular, neuter. Nominative, by expletion, being the apparent subject of is. 63. Parse the expletive it in the objective. We may deem it of little use to form plans of life. It is a pronoun, 
personal and agrees with its antecedent, the phrase to form plans of life in third singular neuter. Objective by expletion being the apparent subject of the infinitive to be understood. 64. What pronoun does our language lack? A personal of the third person to be used with a masculine and a feminine antecedent, as neither the boy or girl knows his or her power. End of pronouns.